Hey, what's up, guys? Carl Down Pal from their video. And today, I want to talk about the Xbox Series X being at $600 there, or might be at $600 there, <clears throat> and uh, why this is going to be a bad move by Microsoft if it is at $600 there. Um, <clears throat> so, a lot of people are saying something about um, <clears throat> Monster Energy Drink there <clears throat> was like actually was doing pr a promotion of Halo Infinite. So they were doing a promotion with Halo Infinite. Microsoft was going to team up with Monster Energy Drink and uh, promote Halo Infinite on on the thing there. <clears throat> um, so they were saying something about first prize winners will get a like <clears throat> they will get a copy of Halo Infinite there and the Xbox Series X. <clears throat> um, they will get a copy of of Halo Infinite there and also the Xbox Series X for the winners there for Monster Energy Drink and stuff like that because. <clears throat> um, uh, 343 actually announcing the uh, game being delayed until 2021. <clears throat> actually, uh, <clears throat> actually is not pretty. Uh, it actually got rid of that promotion deal with Monster Energy Drink, <clears throat> and Monster Energy Drink. How much the Monster Energy Drink got paid by Microsoft there to promote Halo Infinite <clears throat> got paid a lot. They actually got paid a lot there, and mostly people were calculating how much Monster Energy Drink is going to be, and also how much the Series X is going to, or <clears throat> how Monster Energy Drink, drink actually ha has that promotion with Xbox Series X, or Xbox, or uh, had that promotion with Xbox there, or Microsoft, <clears throat> and how much the Xbox Series X is going to cost there, and a lot of people are calculated, and it will be around like 600, or 599 US dollars, <clears throat> or 599 US dollars there. And mostly <clears throat> putting in the console around like six hundred dollars. <throat> um, this will be a pretty bad move in a way because technically Microsoft is going into this generation there with no exclusives. They are not going. They're not going into this generation there with no exclusives there. <clears throat> Even if they are saying something about <clears throat> they're going to run uh, <clears throat> uh, third-party tile games really, really smooth and really, really good there. <clears throat> um, it, but it's not going to look good for Microsoft in the long run because technically <clears throat> um, Sony's also doing the same thing there. They're putting their console around like $600 also. <clears throat> um, that's what a lot of people are also speculating, also saying so Sony's also going to put the this uh, PS5 around $600, but it's going to be okay for Sony in a way because... They actually have exclusives there versus Microsoft. It doesn't have any exclusives going into launch and stuff like that. So um, this is going to be pretty bad for Microsoft there. <clears throat> this is actually a pretty bad move by Microsoft. If they did put the console at $600, <clears throat> it's going to be a pretty bad move there. They need to do something there to make the Xbox more affordable there. <clears throat> if they put the price range at $399, $399, that would be a, a much better price instead of putting at $599 there <clears throat> because <clears throat> if the, if the Microsoft puts the console at $399, it will be a pretty good price there for Microsoft to actually take the lead. If they really want to win next generation, they have to put the Xbox Series X at $399 or $400 technically <clears throat> for at launch. So, yep, that's more much it. Uh, comment, rate, more responsible to it. This is Leave We like my favorite videos. Please subscribe for the bell notification. We'll see more uploads. Comment, more responsible to it. This is Leave a like, carry out. Out of your peace.